buddy nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's friday and you guys know what that means the oricon rankings are out and this is gonna be the top 20 oricon rankings for february 7th through 13th so before i get to this let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and i'm just letting non-stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, getting fast about the second we're talking panic attack um migraine inducing happy speed levels of struggle up and yeah oh god seriously i'm struggling to keep a roof up on my head it is that bad but 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 if you love what i'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking feel free to hit up my cash up and paypal those links are in the description box below as well as a link to the full top 50 chart courtesy of manga Maguri and joseph k thanks to them we get these charts every week and we get to go back to the old way of doing the top 20 uh charts because Jujutsu Kaisen is not dominating the charts. No. Well, they're in the, you know, the bottom half of uh, the Oricon charts. Yes. Yes, they are. But they're not in the top 20. Nah. And it's crazy because Jujutsu Kaisen Zero in particular, woo, did it get a chop, chop, chop. It is in the, um, in the 30s, I believe right? Yeah, it's number 30. Yeah, it took a chop, 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 that it did. Um, I will mention that, that number in particular, because it's just insane. Um, for the week, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero sold a total of 18,231 copies. Um, and remember, this manga came out on December 4th, 2018, and it sold a total of 2,871,004 copies. Yep. Yep, it did. There's only one volume of Jujutsu Kaisen in the top 20 this week. So because of that, we are not going to be covering all of the Jujutsu Kaisen numbers uh, Mystery to Iona Care, not even in the top 20 at all. So we are not going to be covering those numbers uh, this week either. So how this usually works is we read the number. Then we get read the title and the volume. And if it's a new release, which there are a lot of new releases, um, then we just read the release date. Um... And then uh, how many uh, copies of the manga have been sold for the week? And if I cover the series and um, if I can uh, or not, if I do not cover the series, like basically if it's going in my TBR or if I can't find the series, that's that. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to this. So we're starting off this top 20 with a new release and let's be real new releases are dominating this top 20 um with a uh, volume 22 of nobunaga concerto and um this volume came out on february 10th 2022 and in four days sold 23,269 copies now this is a series i would love to read i would love to read and i would love to cover it but there's a problem. Um, I can only find up to volume 12 in terms of scans. So, yeah, the scans are 10 volumes behind. Cannot cover it. So, unless someone can, you know, update the scans and catch up to volume 22, cannot cover it. It really stinks. But it is what it is right now. Anyways, number 19 is uh, Yoko uh Wakaranai, uh, Kiredu Isekai ni Tensei, uh, Shiteta Yudesu, Volume 10. This is another new release. It came out on February 9th, 2022, and in five days sold 23,551 copies. Now for this one, wait, what volume this is at? This one is at Volume 10. 
cannot cover this one because the scans are only up to or up to halfway through volume five. So until the scans are caught up, can't cover it. But this is a gender swap isekai series. There's been a lot of isekai go uh, selling like crazy, and you're gonna see it up in this list. Anyways, now let's get to number 18, which is my gift level 9,999 Unlimited Gotcha Volume 3. This uh, volume came out on February 9, tw um, 2022. Yes, another new release. Um, and in five days, sold 23,699 copies. So, yeah, right now there's not that much of a difference between... Um, it's not going to be that much of a difference between numbers 20 through 17. Yeah, you're not going to really notice a big jump until about number, yeah, about number 14. Then there will be a small jump. All right, so this one here for number 18. What volume is this again? I'm sorry, I have to double check. Volume 3? This one I can actually cover because I think the scans are basically up to date. Uh, yeah, because uh, the scans are up to chapter 35. So I did put this on my TBR list for now. Um, but we will see. We will see. We will see. We will see. Hold on, let me double check this, because we might have to do, so, this is how I could check to see if the scans are up to date. If I forgot I could do this. Yes, the scans are up to date, just double checked. Scans are up to date. Um, as of uh, this recording, um, the official chapter, uh, we are at 35 chapters. Scans are up to date. It is in my TBR. I'm glad I double... This is how you double check shit. I know how to do this. Ha ha. Um, so yes. So my gift uh, level 9,909 Unlimited Gotcha is in the TBR. So after I'm done catching up with Overlord, because I have to... It's been a long time since I covered that manga. I have to reread it from the beginning. And then I'm going to start covering it again once I'm caught up. Yes, I, I promised you guys that. I'm doing it. So... Then I'll um, read uh, uh, my gift level 9,999 Unlimited Gotcha. That's going to be the next one. All right, so number 17 is another new release, which is uh, Shinya uh, no Dame um, Koizukan uh, Volume 19. This volume came out on February 10th, um, 2022, and in four days sold 23,716 copies. And I can't cover it because there are no scans. So, nope, can't cover it. Would like to, but I can't. Then number 16 is Michael chan or not Michael chan I'm sorry. Michael san she no um, Makanai-san volume 19. This volume came out, on, which is again another new release. Came out on February 10th, 2022, and in four days sold 24,494 copies. I double checked this because I was thinking about covering this one. And I double checked, and the scans aren't up to date. They are not. They are almost up to date. Um, they are a volume behind. Volume 19 is not on here. So when volume 19 comes on here, I shall consider covering it. I know it won um, an award. It won the 65th uh, uh, Shogu Gokuin Manga Award in the Shonen ca uh, category. But I will consider covering this when volume 19, or reading this at least, when volume 19 is, um, is available. Then I will cover it. Because the last time the scans were updated was almost a year ago. That's kind of a problem. When the scans have not been updated for a year, or for almost a year, then that's kind of a problem. Anyways, let's get to this next one here, which is number 15, which is Tensei um, Kenshin no Isekai Life, uh, Daini no um, 
Shoku Shokukyo o Ete Sekai um, Saikyo ni uh, Naramashida, Volume 15. I know that's a goddamn mouthful. It's these Isekais, man. Um, this came out, uh, and then also that's a new release. Came out on February 12, 2022, and in two days sold 25,779 copies. See, not that much of a jump right up uh, in numbers. Small jumps, but not that much. Um, let's see. I... I want to cover this one, but this is volume. Which volume is this? Volume 15? Yeah, can't cover it. The scans are not even close to being up to date. As of this recording, there are only 33 chapters available. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Would like to cover it, though. It'd be nice to cover it, but the scans are not up to date. So can't cover it. Let's get to this next one here which is another um, new release at number 14. Now here's where the numbers are kind of, uh, where we get another jump, which is uh, Yurafuwa Noka no um, Mojibake Skill Isekai de Catalog, um, wait, Suhan uh, Yanamasu, Volume 4. This uh, volume came out on February 7, 2022, and seven days sold 28,456 copies. I got to do, I have to point out that number 15 and number 14, they're both Square Enix mangas and Square Enix is a pain in the ass to deal with. And if you want to get them localized here in the States, you got to go through Yen Press for that. And Yen, Yen Press is usually pretty reasonable. You just got to ask them to localize it and they'll do it. If there's enough people that want it. Um, but with this one here, um, and this is a uh, Yurafuwa, which is also called a, or this manga, oh god, I gotta read the full title again, god damn it. Um, uh, with Yurafua no, um, Noka no um, Mojibake Skill, Isekai de Catalog, um, uh, Suhan Yanamasu, there, yeah, there's no scans for it. So there's barely any scans for it. So, yeah, it's not happening. Nah. There's only, like, as of this recording, there's only, like, seven chapters right now. So until someone, you know, updates the scans, I can't do shit. I can't cover it. All right. Let's get to number 13, which is another new release, Utagawa uh, Hiyake, Volume 2. Uh, this volume came out on February 10th, 2022, and in four days sold 29,159 copies. I cannot find this manga. I can't find scans for it, so I cannot cover it, period. I'd like to, but I can't. Because I, I, uh, because, uh, there's not, I'm not, uh, there's two Josie series that I'm covering that one, which is Dami Kizukari, that's ended. I'm waiting for the rest of the chapters to be translated, and then I'm going to do a big live reaction for that one. And then uh, Chihaya Furu, that is ending um, pretty soon. So, yeah. Um, I do have some Josie that I'm covering. I am covering, like, Honey Lemon... Oh, Honey Lemon Song is everything. Um, but I'd like to cover more. That'd be nice. But anyways... I gotta find me some more. All right, let's get to number 12, which is another new release. See, I told you, new release is dominating this shit. Um, which is Tensei uh, Kizoku uh, Kante uh, Tsukiru de um, uh, Nariagaru Chakusho uh, Ryuchi. Oh, um, oh my god. Ukitsui Danode. Uh, Yush oh god, these freaking serious names. Yoshuna. Um, Jinzai o Fuyashide, Shide, Itara, Saikyo, uh, Ryuchi, Ni, Nateta. There we go. Oh, my God. Long ass name. Volume 6. I did it, though. Freaking did it. All right. So this volume came out February 9th, and in five days sold 29,176 copies. I Do I have scans for it? I do have scans for it. Let me see what we add up in here. Let me see if it, the scans are up to date because I do have a way of checking. I think they are, but I have to double check. Chapter 63. Yes, the scans are up to date for this. So I can cover it. And it is going in, is officially going into the TBR. Yes, yes, yes. And this is, what this series is, for those that don't know what it is called, the English name is Reincarnated as an Aristocrat with an Appraisal Skill. 
yes, the series is up to date in terms of the scans. Thank God, because I've been wanting to come. Um, I didn't realize it was up to date. So yes, this one is officially in the TBR. I will um, read it as soon as I'm I'm done with a couple. Well, obviously with Overlord as well as um, the other series I mentioned earlier. Um, oh my God, now I've got to mention it. It'll piss me off. As well as my gift level uh, 9,999 Unlimited Gotcha. As soon as I'm done with those series, I will um, read uh, read that one and will be added to the queue. Okay, there's one more on this one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we got one more before we hit the uh, top uh, 10. Oh God, this is a long ass name in Japanese. It's a long ass name in English too. So number 11 is Rakudai Kencha no Gakuen Muso uh, Nidome no Tensei S Rank Chi um, Majutsushi uh, Book and Roku Volume 4. Or in English, the unsuccessful yet academically unparalleled sage, a cheating S Rank Sorcerer's Past rebirth, rebirth Adventure Log. Long ass names for this series. God damn. Um, volume 4 came out on February 7th. Uh, 2022 and seven days sold 32,608 copies. You see, we're getting getting some jumps now. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's Square Enix publishing this. Do we have scans? We don't have enough scans. They aren't up to date, so we cannot cover this. Stinks. Damn. Anyways, let's get to the top ten. Without further ado, let's do this. Let's get to the top ten. Okay, so now we are in the top 10. All right, so number 10. Ooh, number 10 is a chop, 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 chop. Oh, fam, it is a chop, 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 chop. Because it is a fall from grace for Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 18. The king has fallen. The king has fallen. Because it was number one for how many weeks? Then it was number two last week. And now it's at number ten. Ooh! The king has fallen! The king has fallen! Woo shit! The king has fallen! Wow! Alright, so this week it sold, volume 18 sold uh 35,254 copies. Damn! Um and this volume came out on December 17th, 2021. And it sold a total of, has sold a total of 1,761,542 copies. The king has fallen. The king has fallen. Wow. Number nine. And yes, I do cover Jujutsu Kaisen. I covered it earlier today. Number nine is Awari no Seraph, aka Seraph of the End, volume 26. I know this one is kind of a chop too. That makes me sad because I love Awari no Seraph. Um, came out February 4th, 2022. Um, oh, it sold 36,007 copies uh, for the week. It came out on February 4th, 2022, and in 10 days sold 69,785 copies. If you are not reading this manga, I do not understand why. I've covered it for a very long time. It's one of my favorite series, and um, I know it's ending, and I'm very sad it is ending. Um, hopefully, unlike other series, I'm looking at you, you, you Q Holder, and possibly you too, Fire Force. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning the ending for Fire Force on how I feel about it. Oh, um, I'm praying that Iwari no Seraph gets a good ending because it deserves it. It deserves the world. Anyways, number eight is Yamushi Yal Pedal, volume 76. Uh, it came out on February 8th, 2022, and in six days sold 37,509 copies. Now, I'm very, very irritated because I love this manga. I do. I wish the scans were up to date in English. They're up to date in other languages, but they are not up to date in English. And that pisses me off because I did cover it for a minute. And then the whoever was um, translating the English scan stopped translating it. And then I can't, and now I can't get, I, I, now I'm so far behind. It kills me, Smalls. Because I love Yamushi Petal. I want to cover this manga. I do. I covered the, I actually covered the anime adaptation for as long as I could until I ran out of scans. 
if someone can really seriously pick up the scans again and translate them and get them up to date, that would be fantastic because I love Yamushi Petal. Um, so uh, some of the best boys are in that series and I would very much appreciate it because I love that manga. It deserves the world. And I'm sad that I can't cover it anymore. But other, other countries are getting up to date scans. Piss me off. Why cover you up she tell so bad? Uh, anyways, number seven is uh, Isekai Kenja, Kenja no Tensei Mushu. Or why am I saying Mushu? What the fuck? Number seven is Isekai Kenja no Tensei Muso game no uh, Jushiki de Isekai Saikyo Volume Six. Um. The English, uh, it's basically Reincarnation of Another World Sage is the English title for this one. Um, and this is volume six. It came out on February 7th, 2022, and in seven days sold 41,105 copies. Yeah, the numbers are getting bigger. Um, as of right now, there's only 19 chapters translated. So basically up to volume 4 is translated. Can't cover it. Would like to. Scans aren't up to date. Oh my god. Man. Alright. The next one is another new release at number 6. Tensei Shitara Dai Nana Ouiji um, Danode uh, Kimamani uh, Majutsu O uh, Kiwamimasu Volume 3. It's another new release. Came out on February 9, 2022, and in five days sold 43,720 copies. Can I cover it? Is the question. I might be able to actually cover this one. I actually might. Hold on a sec. What volume is this? Volume 3? Let me check. It's, let's check this real quick. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. 82 is the update. Nope, I can't cover it because it is behind by 11 chapters. Would like to cover it, but it is behind by 11 chapters. So if someone wants to... Um, help uh, translate it the last well someone tra someone is translating it they are tra there is a um i guess they are catching up uh there's a bunch of trans chapters uh translated i might actually put this in the tbr i'm gonna keep an eye on this one because it might be up because there's only like 11 cha cha there it's only 11 chapters behind and they chat translated a shitload of chapters uh a week ago so this one I might be able to cover so I'm gonna keep this one the TBR this is gonna be a one to watch let's see number five is the fable uh, the second contract volume two um, for the week it sold 49,951 copies came out on February 4th and in 10 days it sold 94,894 copies can't cover this one because the first one the scans aren't all the scans aren't available for it and even if I could even if they were the second contract there's no scans for it so can't cover this one all right the next one at number four is Death March uh, Kara Hachibaru is um, Isekai uh, Kyo Sokyoko Volume 3. And it, again, it's a new release. Um, it came out on February 9th, 2022, and in five days sold 50,208 copies. Notice we're getting bigger jumps now. Oh, we're about to get a bigger jump into the top three. Ooh. Just wait till we get to number one. Yes, yes, yes. For this one, the scans are very much behind. Like to cover it, and it's the same thing with the, it's the same thing with this one that um with Yamushi Petal like the uh, it's Portuguese. the Brazilians are like fully caught up on Yamushi Petal, but not on this one. Uh, but and it's the same on this one too. What the actual fuck is going on? I I don't understand. I'm so lost on this. Why? Can someone explain this to me? Like, you know what? I understand with you. I'm going to say this with Yamushi Petal. 
I understand with Yamushi Pedal because the Brazilians love sports series. They do. They love their Captain Tsubasa a lot. And I not, wouldn't be surprised if they love their Yamushi Pedal. I would not be surprised. They love sports series that much, the Brazilians do. I will not underestimate the Brazilians. Nah, I would not. Um, when it comes to sports series. This one, I'm kind of like, okay. I'm very, like, kind of like, what? Like, kind of sus. And actually not sus. I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of surprised more than sus. I'm kind of surprised about this one for the Brazilians. But Yabushi Pedal, I'm not. Because if you know, like, uh, I should say this in general. South of the border, they love sports series. They do. They love it. They, that's why they have, um, like, have, they get Captain Tsubasa, and they get Yamushi, well, the Brazilians get Yamushi Pedal, and all that shit. But, um, but we don't. We don't get Captain Tsubasa. Well, we get the video games, but we don't get the manga. Well, we get the scans, but for some reason, Viz won't license the manga. I don't understand why. Why won't you do it, Viz? <sighs> do you have a bias against sports manga? At least Kadansha is licensing Blue Lock. And I think they're... Do they... Are they licensing Aowashi? I think they are, but I don't remember. But anyways, um, enough about that. Uh, number three, and this is another new release, is um, Kamitachi Ni uh, Hiro uh, Wareto Toko, Volume 8. This vo uh, volume came out on February 7th, 2022, and in seven days sold 70,000... Oh, there must have been a pre-order because um, it sold for the week 70,020 70, copies for a total of 70,303 copies. So this one must have had a pre-order situation because that's what usually happens. This is on volume eight. Yeah, so it is kind of behind um, because the scans I have go up to like a little bit into volume seven. Would be nice to have all of the translations. I would like to have them. Um, the last time there was a chapter for this manga, scan-wise, was, like, about a month ago. <sighs> I can't put in the TBR. I can't. Until I see the, sc the scans up to date, I'm not gonna do it. Nah, I won't do it. Alright, now we're getting into the top two. Yeah, so number two is another new release. It is Chahaya Furu, Volume 48. Yeah. Oh, I love Chahaya Furu so much. I'm sad this one's ending. But I know it, Chahaya Furu might have a good ending. I'm going to say that. So uh, Volume 48 came out on February 10th and in four days sold 77,117 copies. If you are not reading Chahaya Furu, I do not know what is wrong with you. It is a good series. I swear to God, if my shit do not happen in this one, if... Um, Tahaya doesn't happen, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I swear to God, if she gets with Arata, I'm going to be so mad. I will be fucking pissed because the writing has been leading to, towards Tahaya getting with Taichi. If she don't get with Taichi, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Oh my God, seriously, um, Sutsugu, please don't do this Do this to me. I already had Yuki Holder, like, fuck me up. Even though... It, Yes, I know. It was implied that that my ship happened in UQ Holder. I, I didn't get to see, like, any of it. It was not fair. I was robbed. Even though I did get to see the kill shot with it, which has kind of saved the ending from being ass, being complete ass. But I wanted to see more. I wanted to see, like, a wedding or something. Pokemon deserve better. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that. Oh, God, that ending really makes me mad. Oh, God, I hate that ending so much. We were robbed of so many fucking arcs. I know Akamatsu wants to run for politics, but God fucking damn it. The arcs that were teased at the end of the, end of the manga, end of UQ Holder. Oh, my God, we were robbed. Rob, just so Totohime could happen. That makes me so fucking mad just thinking about it. Oh my god, I hate it so much. I hate it. Was it his best domestic girlfriend's ending? No, that ending is still worse, but it is pretty bad. I'm only mentioning it because I'm because Chai Fru is ending. I want my ship to happen. I want my Tahaya to happen. 
swear to fucking uh, yes i am i am an invested shipper i'm not a toxic shipper because i will not threaten the mangaka i will not do that shit i will not for volumes or anything like that i will just be very mad <laughs> i'll be very salty about it but i am an invested shipper especially when the writing is dictating it it's going to go in this direction and then you rob me of it it's like what the actual fuck are you doing to me I'm actually getting this kind of thing right now in a couple of cuckoos, and um, I'm hoping it's not going to happen in God's Cafe Terrace. I swear if Koji robs me of my ship in God's Cafe Terrace, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I'm already getting it right now in a couple of cuckoos, and I'm not happy about it either. It's going it's going in a very creepy direction in that manga. Oh, God. <sighs> but I swear... If my ship don't happen in Chaifru, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Seriously. Ugh, Satsugu, I swear, I want a wedding. I want my ship. I want it all. I want it. I want to see it so bad. I want it. I want my king and queen together. I do. Ugh. I better get it. If I don't get it, I'm gonna. If she ends up with a rod, I'm gonna be fucking mad. It better not happen. Ah, <sighs> okay. I got it out of my system. I feel better. But now we get to number one, the one that is reigning king supreme. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Well, it's the one that knocked the king out of the throne last week. It's Buckle to Hero Academia Volume Thirty Three. Yes, for the week, it sold 233,769 copies. I told you, it was a huge jump. Woo! And in 10 days, because it came out on February 4, 2022. In 10 days, it has sold 548,240 copies. I'm not surprised. Boku no Hero Academia is going to dominate for a minute. Um, and that's because we are going into the final fight. Um, I covered Boku no Hero Academia earlier today. Um... It is looking really good right now. I swear to God, Horikoshi, please don't fuck up this arc. Give, I swear, if you give me some stupid shit with Ochako in particular, I'm going to be fucking mad. Well, not just Ochako, like Class 1A. If you give me stupid shit with them, I'm going to be pissed. Leave them, out of De leave them out of Deku's battle. Leave them out of, um, leave them out of, like, the Toya fight, except for a few of them. And same with Deku, there's a few that it's been set up for, for both uh, Toya and um, and Shigaraki's fight in particular. Those two, you have them set up. Leave them alone, minus the set few. If you have all of them overwhelm, overwhelm those fights, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Just leave them be. Have them go fight Spinner, and in the case of the girls, I want to see them fight Toga. I want my sad man's parade. I'm spoiling it, but I don't give a shit. I want my sad man's parade, and uh, yeah, Ochako, you gotta go. We gotta have deaths up in this manga. If I'm getting deaths up in Vigilantes, there better be deaths up in this one. There better be a lot of casualties up in this one. I know, I have a vendetta against Ochako. Ochako pissed me the fuck off. Because I loved, Toga's my girl, and she pissed me off. Uh, Ochako pissed me off. I'm sorry if you're an Ochako fan, but girls gotta go. If Suyu might have to go too, because Suyu is kind of a bitch, but not as much. Uh, Ochako is the bigger bitch in all of this. So Suyu, if you're a casualty of this, you gotta blame Ochako, because Ochako was a complete bitch. She was an even bigger bitch before this fighting started. Before the second, uh, the this uh, current part, the final part of this war started. But anyways. Am I happy with this? Dude, I am so happy to see that Jujutsu Kaisen and Mystery to Iona Care aren't dominating this chart no more. Very, very happy. Happy to see new releases are dominating this. This really makes me happy to see. I'm happy that Twin Star I'm not happy to see that Twin Star Exorcist is not in this top 20. They're in the top 30 at least, so that makes me happy to see. I'm very pleasantly surprised to see Jujutsu Kaisen uh, zero at I'm very, actually, not pleasantly. I'm very surprised that it's at uh, number 30. But something that um, I got to point out here that Josuke did for a chart um, was that uh, for in terms of new series um, for the month, that a couple of them that really stood out for me that are selling very well 
are Shoha Shoten, which are by the mangaka of um, of uh, Death Note and Platinum End, and P P P P P P P, which makes me really happy because I like I really love P P P P P P P. I've been saying that it is the next Piano no Mori. I'm very very happy to see that it is doing well. Very very happy because I was worried about it for a minute, but I'm glad people are are enjoying that series. I really am. Um, there's also a chart for um that Josuke does for the week and I might do a sub I'm thinking I might now that Jujutsu Kaisen not dominating this anymore I might actually mm, you know what I'm gonna mention it here I might start mentioning this in this one but now that we got through this top 20 let me mention the uh the weekly manga uh uh manga series because i think that's kind of important especially now so at, at um because i brought i mentioned death march earlier death march um and is that uh yes yeah, this top 10 one two three four five six seven okay eight nine ten all right so for so at number 10 is you know should i just do this next week or do this in a separate video hmm you know what? I think I'm going to do this in a separate video. I think I'm going to do that instead. Because this video is already long enough. We're going to do a separate video for the manga series by uh, mon uh, weekly manga series. I think that would be more interesting because there's some good numbers up in here. That's what we're going to do. So stay tuned because that's going to be up next. But anyways, very curious what you guys think of this, these numbers. What do you think about Jujutsu Kaisen being booted like this? Let me know your thoughts. On, and what do you guys think about uh, Boku no Hero Academia destroy, uh, just dominating again? And that the new releases are dominating like this. Do you think that this is a sign that the numbers are outside of Boku no Hero Academia, the numbers are still on the lower side, but they are, it's, the numbers are coming back up. So you got to wonder if the, um, if, uh, the, there's, if the shortage situation is kind of resolving itself a little bit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Sync. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, Oricon content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.